Hi everyone! Thank you for joining me once again today here at Fluid Arts by Elsa. I'm so excited. I can't wait to dive into this piece. From the last video that I did, that diptych, the 10 by, uh, 10 by 20, I really enjoyed working on that two-piece panel. So I'm going to do it today once again. I am going to go ahead and I am going to uh, create another painting on another diptych, another 10 by 20 diptych. Um, today I'm going to be working on more like the earth tone, so the greens, hues of greens, creamy colors, a little bit of silver, um, some white. Uh, we'll see how this one turns out. I can't wait to see it. Um, so meet me at the canvas. Welcome back. Here we are. We are all set. These are my 10 by 20 uh, canvas pieces. As you know, they are prepped on the back. So my back is taped and I have my painter's pyramids already so that I can move them without having any kind of problems. So now what I'm gonna be using today for my base color, I'm gonna start with Olive Green Deep by Amsterdam. The second base split color will be Titanium Buff Deep by Amsterdam. So those are my colors for my base. And we're going to start with that now. I already have it mixed in this cup. It is a plastic cup. I can reuse over and over again. But look how beautiful this green color is. Check that out. And look at the consistency for my paint. Beautiful, beautiful color. And what I'm going to... I think it's gonna be kind of like a yeah like this kind of like a circle so my green uh, my darker green on the outside my buff on the inside and I am going to use my bottle just to get my lines in just like that this is what I want to try and see how this works out. Let's check this composition. I think I like that. All right. And now I am going to go ahead and just put my paint down. Okay. I'm gonna spread this paint out and I am gonna use my popsicle stick here. What a gorgeous rich color. Love the color. Okay. So there is my green. Some more paint down over here. Okay, I think that's enough for that paint. Now we are going to use the travel size hair dryer to spread that out.
Okay. We're going to take care of our edges like we always do. So just from the same table where the paint is dripping, I'm grabbing and I'm doing my edges real quick here. Just like that. This green has very nice coverage, which I like. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing on this side here. Perfect, perfect. And I'm gonna come around, ah! I'm gonna come around that side to see here. And we're just gonna cover those sides here as well. Just like that. Come up here, I'm sorry guys, I'm in your way. Okay, there we are. Now, we did have a little drop of paint right on the canvas here. That's no problem. We're just gonna wipe it right off, just like that. It's okay. Perfect, 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 perfect. Now I am gonna move this canvas out so that I can get in the middle here, and then we'll do that same over here. Now we are using the Titanium Buff Deep and I am going to put a bead of paint here so that I can create a separation. And I love how these colors look together already. Just like that and just like that. Good. Okay. There we are. Now, again, here I already have my titanium buff mixed, and I'm going to show you also this color. Look how beautiful this color is you can see that absolutely beautiful color okay so i'm gonna go ahead and just drip a little bit down the side here and then i'll spread it out as well using my hair dryer there we have that and the same thing over here Rear careful here with the edges. I don't want my paint to go on my green side here. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. 
Um, so let me continue with my sides here. My edges. Perfect. And on my side here. And on the back here. Just like that. Beautiful color combination. I love it. Okay. So there they are. I'm going to push this back a little bit. Beautiful. Okay. I'm gonna pop, give it a quick torch. Just wanna pop some of these bubbles out. Just like that. Perfect. And now what I have here is the colors I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna be putting a little bit of white um titanium white by amsterdam down and this is gonna go just like that maybe right over here just like that Next, I have Greenish Blue by Amsterdam. Twenty four karat gold by Deco Art. Just a, a tiny bit. I don't know. My things are going crazy today. I don't know what's happening. Oh, that's so beautiful. I want to put some more of this green on. Beautiful. Okay, now we're ready. I'm going to give it a quick torch. and we'll see what we have I'm gonna start here Okay. I'm going to work on this one a little bit. I'm happy with this side. I'm not too happy with this side. So let me work a little bit here.
that's a little better. a little better okay Now I'm just working on it because I want to change a little bit the composition of it. I'm just softening the side here. Okay. That's a little better. I need to work in here. I don't like what's happening over here. I think if I correct this here, I should be okay because everything else looks good. Um, I'm going to bring this back in right here. Just like that. Okay, okay, it's a little better. And then over here, I do need to scrape some of this off. Um, so let me get, I'm gonna use a palette knife. I'm gonna separate these two. Only because I don't wanna touch, this one I don't wanna touch. It's beautiful. But this one, I do want to work a little bit over here. So on this one. Just like that. And then I am going to take this off. I'm just showing you how I kind of work and get what I want um, when I don't like this, that side of my painting. So, just being very careful, scraping this off. Perfect. So I scraped off that side that I didn't like. And I am going to dab my napkin right in here because I don't want these colors coming through as it dries. So you got to make sure you're careful when you clean up your sides as well. Because that paint will show through once it begins to dry and I don't want that. Okay, so there it is. Wait until I bring you guys down for a close up. This piece is absolutely stunning. I am super, super happy. I'm gonna move it back while I'm gonna clean my edges first. Don't forget to scrape those drips. Just like that. I want to get in here because I do want to push it over so you guys can see how beautiful this diptych is. Like I say, I don't know which is my favorite at this point. They all turn out amazing. That's why you have to just be happy, have fun with it.
Hi, puppy. Okay, so I'm going to show you this piece. I am going to bring you down for a close up. Please forgive the glare. So here she is. And she is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I am so happy I put that 24 karat gold in there. Take a look. Take a look at this. Look at the shine, the lacing here. And is it is gonna sparkle? Look at look at that! Wow, that's amazing. That's beautiful. Love how this white outlines the center petal here. Look at the clusters. Absolute. Look at that lacing. Oh wow! Beautiful, beautiful. I love the colors together. It just looks amazing. Take a look. So there she is. I will show you once it is dry. Uh, thank you for sticking around. Like and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you for your support. If you're interested in this piece, please email me at elsasgallery at gmail.com. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hey guys, so here we are. The piece has been resin, is dry, and I wanted to show you how beautiful this painting is. I am just in love with the colors, the green, the little beige color, and then near center. So I'm gonna show you the first one here. So remember, this is the diptych, 10 by 20 inches. Look how gorgeous. I mean, the video doesn't do it justice. Look how gorgeous is that piece. Just absolutely amazing, beautiful. And I'm gonna show you the next piece, which is this one. Take a look at that. Look how it shines. Look how that shines. I'm sorry about that glare, but take a look. The 24 karat gold is just beautiful. Ah. Uh, with these base colors just it's my lighting take a look at that see amazing just a beautiful diptych let me send them up together here so you can see look at this this is just a beautiful piece this piece is available for purchase so if you're interested guys email me at elsasgallery at gmail.com again this is a 10 by 20 diptych and take a look at that love the composition the design love the painting the colors are beautiful check out the back again ready and just have to stamp it but there you have it guys this is the end result absolutely stunning